Right. 210 Boxing TV here with the legendary, legendary Roy Jones Jr. Now, you were inducted to the Hall of Fame. I actually saw you taking a picture of one of my favorite all-time idols, Salvador Sanchez. Why, why was it important for you to take that picture of Salvador Sanchez at the Hall of Fame? Because that was one of the first people outside of American people that I knew that really in, in, in influenced me as far as boxing goes. Salvador was one of the most complete fighters that you ever see, and people don't understand, but he had the best cardio of any fighter I've ever seen to this day. You know what I mean? Nobody had the cardio that Salvador Sanchez had. 15 that, rounds. 15, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Salvador Sanchez looked between round one and round two, the same as he looked between round 14 and round 15. He could do the same thing you in round one and round two, then he could do you in round 14 and round 15. He fought everybody, Patrick Ford, Danny Lopez, uh, Peter Gomez. Anybody that came in, they talk a fight, including uh, uh, Gomez, who was a knockout artist. 32 and 0, you know 32 knockouts. He didn't yeah. care who it was, he fought him. So anytime you got a guy that fights all comers, who in better shape than everybody, who got the best offensive attack of all time, how could you not admire that? So I love who you're seeing Chavez too, but Chavez, I was a little older and I understood more about boxing. And he had a lot of fights we didn't know about. Sanchez didn't do that though. He beat Hall of Famers back to back. You feel me? And that's a hard thing to do. So he was always my favorite because he was my first, but he was my first person that really showed me how to constantly fight for the whole fight. He fights the whole three minutes of every round. He don't take no time off. But his 12 and all the both 15 round fights, but they was how to fight, so he didn't take no time off. He had he thinking man in there. Huh? He had thinking man in there. Of course, he didn't take no time off. So when you find a guy like that, it's like that helped me. That helped me probably put the icing on the cake of my style because I had a Sugar Ray Leonard, Muhammad Ali influence style. Then when I met, when I saw Seven, it got introduced to who Seven Sanchez was, it changed up even more. So it made me like incorporate all around the world in a sense because Mexico, USA, everywhere I could find great fighters, I took stuff from him. And he was one of the guys, one of my favorite guys that I took stuff from. The, the footwork as well. The footwork was out of this world. The footwork, the hand face, the, the, the cousins, keeping the foot man. The dude was a complete fighter. The only thing he may have not had that I got from Ali and Shereen was he wasn't so explosive all the time, but he was explosive with his numbers. If he ever hit you, they keep on, he'll keep on, keep yeah. on. So he had a different form of explosion. But all of this, what people don't understand is, when you're a complete fighter, you gotta have a little bit of everything. He had offense, he had defense, he had a chin, he had smooth footwork, he had good feints, he had good head movement, he had a jab, he had everything. An answer for anything you do. That's why I like it. All by the age of 23. Is he the, it, All by the age of 23. Is he, is he the Mexican GOAT? It's either him or Chavez, right? To me, he's the one, Chavez number two. If, if they would have fought at 135, let's say mid-80s, Sanchez or, or Chavez, who you going with? I don't know if it's hard to say because Chavez is a bigger man. Yeah. So 135, he might have had an advantage. And well, let's say 130. Let's say 130. 130, I would go with Sanchez. Yeah. You go with Sanchez? 35, I'd probably go with Chavez. All right, man. And let, let the fans know, it, I think they forgot who who you were, man. A lot of people say that Floyd's the GOAT, they, but people forget. Y'all must have forgot. <laughs> now, middleweight to heavyweight, I mean, come on. Over 106 years, nobody did it. And nobody ever turned pro as a junior middleweight and became heavyweight champion of the world. Who? Ray Jones, the one and only. By the grace of God, but the one and only. And I thank God for everything. Thank you, man. I appreciate you so much. This meant a lot to me, brother.